What if you had a junior analyst who knew exactly how you liked your month-end commentary? What if this junior analyst knew everything you'd written for the last several months? What if I told you that you could build that junior analyst right into ChatGPT in just minutes? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So for this one, we're going to go ahead again to create a GPT. I'm going to come back to my regular chat window. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to paste our chat in here, act as an expert on ChatGPT. I need your help creating the inputs to build a custom GPT. This custom GPT needs to be able to write month end commentary based on how I have written commentary in the past. I will be sharing last month's deck, instruct the user to provide new financials, and I'll put this in a format that I can easily copy and paste. We'll send that off and see what we get back. All right, and it's coming back for us. It's going to be a style adaptive month end commentary copilot. We've got the description, we've got all of our instructions here. It's going to give us a first message to the user for every cycle, have our comment conversation starters, we have our knowledge. And then the recommended model will want code interpreter and file uploads. Web browsing off by default makes sense. So let's go ahead and start moving all this over. Here's our month end commentary copilot. Here's our description. Let's go ahead and paste that in over here. Then we'll pull in all of our instructions. All right, then we're going to have our conversation starters. Again, I just use three of these, otherwise it gets overwhelming. Three looks best on the screen over here, as you'll see. Now I need to provide it with some of my context. We're going to go to our documents. We're going to go to my F9 Finance coffee shop. We'll attach our June financial report, which has all of my commentary on the business. Well, that's attaching. We're going to change the model to GPT-5 thinking. It wanted web search off. It wanted canvas off and code interpreter on. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and give it a file. So in the same folder, I've got my financials and I've got my point of sale data. So I'm telling it I don't have everything it's asked for, but I want it to know this is a complete set of what I'm giving it right now. For the purpose of this video, I just want to use two files. We're going to hit send and see what we get back. All right, it's processing our two files. So we got our money's worth and thought for four minutes and 39 seconds to come back with a really fantastic analysis. We've got an executive summary that it wrote for us, just how I like it, KPI highlights, financial highlights. I literally gave it a CSV file and then my prior presentations, and it has written exactly how I like it. All of this is pretty much spot on. I'd say usually what we look for is to get back about 80% complete, and then I'll do the last 20% of tweaking to make sure it's just right. But this is a fantastic start.